Jamie received a, a just a, a devastating phone yeah, call. Apparently, it's I'm, brutal. I'm anxious yeah. to. Uh, I'm actually anxious to hear this to hear exactly what transspired. Do we know, have it? But uh, I think uh, Sam, were we able to get the? Uh, yeah, we were able. We to were get the able phone. to okay. get. Okay. So we, we we have actually Sam, our board operator, has extracted this from Jamie's phone. So let's let's just uh, Jamie. Do you have anything to say before we all hear this? Is this going to be embarrassing for you? Is this? No, just play it. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and hear, and hear the message uh, that Jamie received uh, late last night. Hey, Jamie. It's Dana. Uh, I finally got a chance to listen to your voicemails, all 563 of them. Uh, yeah. So I just wanted to get something straight. You know, we have some fun on the radio show when our date was fun. And it made a great segment, but just in case you got the wrong idea or thought that we were dating we're not <laughs> oh man i appreciate that you put so much thought into our date the suit the chinese gangster hairstyle the pedicure okay. <laughs> okay well the green toenails were a little too much but a for effort though really anyway i'd appreciate it if you'd stop facebooking me at four in the morning good point maybe yeah. stop calling me right when you wake up go to sleep and if you ever call me again while you're in the shower, I'm seriously oh. going to lose it. Jamie. <laughs> I will say, you have a really nice singing voice, though. Yeah, we've heard it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, if I have to say it like this, I will. Jamie's, I'm breaking up with you. Ooh. Okay, see you Monday. Bye. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. So that was, that was the phone call that you got. Where were you whenever you received or whenever you heard the voicemail? I don't know. It's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, as usual. <laughs> as usual. Yeah. It was just another day in paradise for Jamie. Yeah. So, so, wow, Dana. Yeah. Well, Dana, if you are listening, we'd love for you to call in. 626-585-7227. She's probably not. That's probably what led to the breakup, too, yeah. is Dana's wonderful fancy pants job that she has. Yes. You know, rubbing elbows with all those coke-sniffing uh, producers in Santa yeah. Monica. So. Jamie just wasn't good enough yeah. anymore for she her. She just didn't have any time for him. So Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, Jamie, what what happened? Not really sure what happened, but wow! <laughs> Never heard him like this. Yeah. Can you peel yourself up off the floor, please, and talk to us a little bit? <laughs> Just tell us how you're feeling. I'm gonna kill myself. Oh yeah. Oh no, that's that, not hey, good. Hey, that makes good radio, man. I guess it would. Would you be willing to do it live on the air? <laughs> Maybe. All right, this is good. I'm gonna pursue this. <laughs> I'm gonna pursue this. This is just. This might I'm be. Our, it's gonna be our season finale, of course. If yeah. If, if, yeah. Kind of ruins the show. It ruins Christmas, definitely. Yeah, then oh, our but, show's yeah, gone. That's, that's all right. We don't have any ding dongs. Maybe you could kill yourself for Christmas. Great present. It would be a wonderful gift. It would be gift, a great present, you know, yeah. For the world at large. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, so now, who? I, I see we've got one of our friends sitting yeah, here so, across uh, from us. I'm wondering why. The, I'm wondering why. Who J is this mysterious yeah. guest? Well, this is J Rod. I'm wondering why J Rod's here. Yeah. Well, so. Uh, hey, guys. Hey. This is Jared. Oh, God. I mean, this is Derek. Jared, Jared, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? And I, I stress quickly. Would you like to quickly introduce yourself to the kids at home? Okay. My name is Jared. I, uh, that's, well, I. Sounds good so far. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit of a storyteller. A little. You're doing and, great so far. Uh, yeah. And I just started going to get into editing, and then I'm, I'm work, working on this big, uh, big, C, big C myself. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Can you translate, Derek? Um, he's working on the script. Yeah. That's right. Oh, I thought, okay, he, said he, was well, work on I thought he said he was working on laying his seed. <laughs> <laughs> I was well, he to, might be working on that too. I'm about to get the I mean, Jared, out of the way. We brought Jared in because uh, we know him as yeah, a Derek, as tell, a, tell us why did we bring a very, Jared in? a very optimistic person. Jamie was looking down, and we wanted to provide him a life coach. We don't know any life coaches, so we decided to go to the next best thing, which was Jared. <laughs> is that really the next best? That thing? That is the next All best right. thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on board for this. The very next best thing. All right. So um, so now, J Rod, you heard the uh, you heard the voicemail from Dana, and Jamie. I must say, you know what? This is actually the most pathetic thing I've ever heard because you actually got broken up from an imaginary relationship, yeah, a fabricated relationship. This is not looking good. J Rod, do you have have J Rod? Have you actually have you been in a relationship? Have you experienced love? Has love touched J Rod's heart at any point? Not really. All right. <laughs> wow. wow. 
This is, I don't know if this is the right guy to have for the life coach. But, well, uh, you know, he's the best thing we have available to us that right. didn't cost money. But, Sorry, Jamie. Well, but you know, I know you watch Charmed, though. That's correct. Because yeah. I myself sure. am a big Charmed fan. And sure. love is a major theme. Not only family love and the love of three sisters, but there's a lot of underlying themes of love there. Am I correct? That's right. Yeah. No one knows better than love, uh, the, about love, than none <laughs> other than Phoebe Halliwell well, herself. Did you hear that, Jamie? Go to her. That is true. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, unfortunately, that show got canceled, so yeah, it's not so, going to be happening. Like everything Jamie related. So, uh, J. Rod, do you have any dun, dun, dun. tips for Jamie on how he should? How should he proceed now that he has been basically dumped, put on the chopping block, kicked to the curb, put out like yesterday's uh, old trash? Well, Jamie, you're you're not the only person who's, who has has heartbroken the first time. There are a lot of people on on, on the ship, right with you. You know, you're, you're not the only one. Who's had his heart pounded by by love's kryptonite? Okay. Love's kryptonite. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, Quotable. what he said is you've gotten pounded. Jimmy. Quotable. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Great advice. Ooh, uh, Jamie's not not seeming too good. No, no. Mm. I think you need to try a little harder to cheer him up, J Rod. Yeah. Let's try again, J Rod. Well, let's put it this way. Even though it's not a fairy tale relationship, you're one broken heart closer to happily ever after. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that's sounds good. good. It's very sweet. That sounds good. That's really? love for you. Yeah, that's love for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Derek. I mean, do we have any other uh, advice for? Do we uh, uh, any any more, Jared? You want to keep going? Well, you we, know, we, hey, Jared, we got to fill twenty three more minutes. So you better keep yeah. going, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. Throw out. You know, you know something, Jamie. You know, I couldn't help it count. How many times Clark Kent had his heart broken by Lana Lang? Yeah. You know, that's yeah, like he couldn't help. I mean, you know, he was really that. trying not to, but he couldn't help but actually keep a physical standing count. To preface how his many comment, times was Jared it? loves Smallville. How many times was it? First season, how many times was it, Jared? First season, ooh, she was with someone else. Uh, so Clark... Clark was Clark was left alone le- was left feeling alone that that's during the first season but you know what uh, I don't <laughs> he 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 he, want, he he felt like an outsider and he, and he wanted he he practically thought about g- killing himself with Chris tonight sure. yeah well who doesn't every now and then. <laughs> well you know good for him he actually hang, hung on to his spirits yeah, He's yeah. so Jamie spirits. hang on to your spirits yeah, hang on to your all right spirits, buddy Jamie. all right uh, I'm gonna grab t- on tight. Yeah, <laughs> grab on. <laughs> Jamie's gonna grab on tight. Yeah, I'm about to let go to tell yeah. you the truth. Take life for a ride. Oh man. Yeah. You All know right. someone else who has got his heart broken. No, I don't. Hercules. Oh, Hercules. Yeah. Good old, you know, Ke- good old, he, good old, good old Kevin know, Sorbet. You know he got married twice. If anybody told you that. Nobody told I, me that. I don't know. You told me that. Yeah, you told me that. <laughs> well, even though he has, his, even though his two wives died, he kept on going. Yeah. And that that's that's his that's his willpower. That's his spirit. Yeah. And hang in there hang in there, man. You're not yeah. you're not the only one. Jamie, so hang in there, man. Well, Jared, would you I mean would you would you be willing to give Jamie a hug? Because he looks yeah. like he's hurting right now. Well, bring it on. Come on, you guys. M- hug, m- let's embrace. Smush smush uh, smush together, yeah. guys. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, no. Good. Oh yeah. How do you feel now? <laughs> That was great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What Jamie, was the moaning? What was the moaning all J-Rod, about? J-Rod, J-Rod, would you like to give Jamie a reverse bear hug? <laughs> Bring it on. Bring it on. All right. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, Jamie, yeah. I want you to... Okay, can you guys just stand up? Please stand up. I know you guys are wired here, but... You don't look right. Stand, stand up. Now, Jamie, I want you to face away from Jared. <laughs> Jared, I, just give him, give him a hug from behind. Now, go up behind him there. Give him a hug. Put your arms around him as tight as you can. Now, squeeze. Now, can we get a hip thrust? Just a hit little. Okay, good, good. All right, guys. Wow. Do you, how do you? Does that feel better, Jamie? <laughs> That's a reverse bear hug. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Do you need a cigarette now? Is that it? <laughs> I might. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, He's Jamie, having a bad day. How, just uh, hang in there, buddy man. You're, 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 buddy man. You're, 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 you're gonna find your, uh, your Everybody's, a, everybody's a freaking superhero around yes. here. Yes, buddy you know, man. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jared, for that display. That was very lovely and and yeah. uh, heart wrenching. Jared, no would you would you like to sing to sing to yeah, Jamie? Can you that sing might to him? cheer him up. Ooh, uh, what about that well, tiki? What about that tiki 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 song? 
You remember? That's about love, right? I remember you saying uh, something about it. Yeah. Him. Oh, gosh. That was like something. It's a while ago. I, I, I don't know if I can sing it as well. Oh, That's well, okay. I'm sure Give it you a try. can. Give it a try. I'm sure you can sing it just as well. Okay. Here goes. Bukare kare ana na waya waya pu. Iti atu koe hine Marino ana e E hine he Oki mai ra Kama te ao e Te aroa e So that was just the first dance. Jeez, that's a <laughs> that's long song. That's very lovely. That can, can you tell us what the lyrics are? Okay, technically, um, it was written back 128 years ago by this my is calculations. That's a New about. Zealand song, right? A Maori yeah, song. Is. Yeah. Sure is. Yeah. Good job, Good job years there. Ago. Thank you. Now, 128 years ago, back in the year 1893, yeah. and it was remodernized like, like after the World War and after the first outbreak of swine flu in New Zealand. Uh-oh. Which one was that? That was a, that was in nineteen nineteen. That was that was when it was martinized. Okay. Why it was martinized? <laughs> martinized. Nineteen nineteen. Uh, swine flu in New Zealand, and the song was modernized. Yeah, that, that, that was uh, well. The swine flu outbreak happened in nineteen eighteen. Nineteen eighteen. After that, okay, that, that I got you. Modernized. Consequence, yeah. Yeah. So tell us the lyrics to the song, please. Okay. Uh, no one knows who wrote it, but uh, uh, the, here, here's the response. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, it's uh, it's it's about it's about a guy living on uh, living a, a, whose house is like across a flowing river, and he actually wrote wrote to call back his love. So he uh, so he wrote so he kind of so the river kind of inspired him to write the song, and well, and uh, he, here's 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 what here's the here's the tech the rough English meaning of it. Okay. Stormy are the waters. It's true. Of the restless Waiupu. What's that? That's if you a river? cross them, girl, they will come. Oh, girl, I could die for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's no, no, that's, that's, that's just, just part of it. Okay, so is um, who's this girl? Is it just supposed to be a generic girl, or is it a famous historical figure? Well, apparently... You know, legend alleges that this girl was su- su- supposed to be one of the queen of, the, of one of the tribes, mm-hmm. of the Maori tribes. So would you say that Jamie is the, is the guy on the other side of the river and that Dana's the, the girl? Yep. So that's pretty much. That's a very nice metaphor. Jamie is on the other side of this river and uh, on, in the xylophonic realm, he's just too far out and Dana can't reach him. That's what? why there can never be love. What's going on? It's phenomenal. It turned into a history channel show here or yeah. something. I don't know what's yeah. going on around here. New Zealand is uh, rich with uh, culture. Yeah. Right? Well, it's the land of Hercules and Zener. Yeah. Zener. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I don't know. I, well, I don't know how to expound it that much. I but bet. You know what? I'm going to stop you right there and say, I bet you do. Continue. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, you know, you probably don't know this, but I probably even don't. Cupid's mother herself got her heart broken. Oh, really? Yep. Good old Aphrodite. Now I, I know that you were sure actually is. writing a script yeah. using a uh, Greek gods. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell us the story of Cupid getting his yeah. or her. Is Cupid a guy or a girl? It's a guy, right? Yeah, Cupid's a dude. I mean, it's like a ba- Cupid's it's a, a dude. dude. Tell us the story, Buddy man. Tell us the yeah. story of a Cupid. Well, his mother, Aphrodite, had fell in love with Hephaestus, the god of arts and crafts. Yeah, with some guy named Festus. Hephaestus. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Well, he's not fessing to anything, unfortunately. The god of scrap, <laughs> the god of scrapbooking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, continue. Uh, so, um, well, after after the, after they both conceived Cupid, uh, and after he's grown up, and there was this there was this time they they had a fight uh, and they they broke out and love and love started to you know disseminate in in, in Greece. So, Hercules was love actually, often disseminates in Greece. Yeah. Much Her- like dish soap. Yeah. Hercules was, the, was actually the one who brought those two back, two lovebirds back together. Aww. Two lovebirds. Do you think Jamie has a chance of getting back with Dana? I would bet on it. 
It really? Didn't sound like it. There's a. I would even bet New Zealand's future on it. Yeah. Whoa. That that's actually something I'd be willing to put up for a uh, for a bet for a bet also. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, Jack, right. Jesus, all right. This <laughs> thing's lively in here. Everything's very lively. Yeah. Jamie, are you feeling any better over there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit. Mm. Oh, all right. All sound right. good. Yeah. promising. Yeah, just gotta hang in there a little more, man. You, yeah, the the crouching dragon will eventually come out of the cave. Okay. okay can you translate for me there? The you said the crouching dragon will eventually come out of the cave. The crouching tiger. Crouching tiger. So oh. I feel like there's a little bit of a metaphor oh. at play. Like this could be applied to many things. I think. Yeah. Like that guy with the python in his pants? Yeah. yeah. Tiger's exactly. gonna come out of the cave. Yeah. Well, Jamie, we know we know that you're feeling very upset because yeah. we 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 knew for a long time that Dana loved Cox. Yeah. And for a very short time Dana had Cox. Yeah. And now Dana I mean Jamie Dana is Cox. Dana is Cox. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And Jamie has Jamie's not gonna have Cox anymore. And that's nope. all that's all Jamie wants is Cox. <laughs> yeah. So it, this is a very sad day. Yeah, Jamie's love of Cox will will not go unmentioned on this Jamie's show. Jamie's epic love of Cox. Oh, Cox. Yeah, yeah. Well, again, that's the headline. Dana Cox has broken up with uh, Jamie. Jamie say. Jamie's ill, and uh, it's a little upsetting. Yeah. Jamie, is there anything? If, if Dana is listening, is there, something is there anything that? that you would like to say? I would like you to actually take a good Ooh. take a good minute here, and I want you to go ahead and speak to Dana. Go ahead. Speak from the heart. Uh, hey, how are you doing? Um, Good. Call me. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah. What oh, happened yeah. in the minute speech? Yeah, what happened in the minute speech? <laughs> we can't drag yeah. out uh and make uh, a minute. I want to do uh for a minute. Well, let's talk to Dana. Let's talk to Dana for a minute. Uh, <laughs> Jared, 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 okay, now, okay. Can you guys just pretend that you're Dana? Okay, Jamie, I'd like you to pretend that, that uh, J-Rod is, in fact, Dana. Jared, can you just play the role? Just pretend you're passing yeah. each other in the hall. It's very awkward. Yeah. <laughs> you just dumped him. <laughs> you're playing Dana. I'd like you to try to imitate Let's Dana's voice out. also, if you could. Yeah. Hey! Good. Uh, hello? Doing good. How are you feeling? Uh, I, li I like when the answers precede the questions. This is like Psychic Friends Network, like, in a mental institution. <laughs> All right, sorry, guys. Continue. Uh, uh, I'm feeling <laughs> depressed, and I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had to break uh, up with you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> why, why are you repeating this? I'm going to lose it. <laughs> Keep going, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I'm just a woman. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> she's sorry, thing. she's uh -oh. just a woman. Yeah. <laughs> Something there should be an apology for. Continue, yeah. <laughs> continue. You're just a woman? <laughs> okay. That's what we're thinking too, Jamie. Okay, okay. Good, you're not a guy. So I'll see you later? <laughs> you're gonna see me later, okay. I'll see you later too. Oh, okay. I'm getting strangely aroused right now, Derek. <laughs> really not feeling good about myself at this moment. I don't know what's mm. going on here. Well, All right. Well, this is uh, see. This is exactly what happens when we don't have access to the audio recorder. Yeah. Well, um, we just tease the new season. We're gonna try to work with Jamie, and uh, we're gonna make some magic happen. Jared will return as Jamie's life coach, and yeah. we are gonna get to work on that immediately. Next episode, we will try to heal Jamie's yeah. love woes. We're gonna try to heal the pain a little yeah. bit at a time here. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. That's that's the deal we're making for you, Jamie. Well, is you've helped us out. Sort of. And we are going to do our best <laughs> to help you out. Do? I hope. All, all right. Yeah. I agree to that. All right. I think, okay. I honestly, honestly, if I really think about it, I really think that uh, J-Rod and Jamie would probably be the um, the best serial killer duo yeah. history has ever known. I think yeah. so. Bigger than Henry Lee Lucas and Otis Toole. I think it would be amazing. But they, they, they kill out of love. Love. What do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Jared? I know you want to say something. Well, as long as you don't call us the dynamic duo. Oh, why not? What's wrong with the dynamic duo? <laughs> you know, that would that would be that would that would be like the Winchester brothers all over again. Oh no! Tell us about the Winchester brothers. 
you know what the good you know what the good news is? This is very dramatic. Yeah. What's the good news? You know you know they do they did have their hearts broken, but they're still moving on. Yeah. Uh, they're still hunting. Yeah. So Jamie, you need to move on. I think that's what he's telling you. Yeah. Do you have any things that Jamie activities that Jamie should do to feel better? It's to you know, get his mind off things. You know something? Uh, you know the, the old Chinese saying comes to mind. Journey a thousand miles with a single step. I think you should know that better than anybody. So here's your single step. Move on to your next assignment. I'm gonna walk backwards. Mm. What? Jared, are there any other New Zealand sayings that might be applicable to Jamie? Okay. The, here, here, here's one. I can't quite say it in Maori, but uh, here, uh, but here's, sure here's the translation. Try. Pursue in excellence. If you stumble, let it be a lofty mountain. Ooh. Mm-hmm. That doesn't <laughs> sound good. <laughs> no. Like if you're basically, tripping over yeah, mountain. Basically, if you're going to screw up, just screw up yeah. like really bad. Heavily, yeah. yeah. I don't think Jamie's going to have any problem doing that, to be quite honest. Remember, one broken heart closer to happily never after. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? I, I to get Jamie prepared for this thing, then we've got to throw him dead, dead into his work. So, yes. Uh, Sam, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get that music uh, a little further up here. Jamie, I'd, I've got some vocal coaching stuff here for you, and I'd like you to go ahead and I'd like you to go ahead and just read. I want you to read that whole page. I just you know I, I apologize uh, to the folks at home, but you know this is you're getting a behind the scenes look at Jamie practicing, you know the kind of stuff he does every week before he goes to yeah. Ding Dong. I'm going to be reading Isawa. All right, go ahead. We're going to have Jamie do this, and that's just going to take us out to the end of the show. Jamie, yeah. go ahead. Isawood, 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 Wood, Isawood. How do Wood, Isawood, 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 Isaw? In another word, Ada Wood, Isaw, Saw, to Saw. Isa, Sa, Thank you for Sa. listening to the Grotto, everybody. We'll Stay see tuned. you in the next week wood, as wood, Jamie continues wood, saw, practicing. Saw. We'll be back next week with hopefully and a wonderful saw, ding the wood, saw, segment. Saw, wood, Join wood, us next time wood, and thanks wood, for listening saw. on the Grotto. I'm thinking about my